Hello everybody, it's Jack here and welcome back to Squid Ink. And today, I have my sketchbook. I pulled it out, I'm going to a blank page. Because you guessed it, we're sketching today. <laughs> so today, I just wanted to fill one like spread of my sketchbook with snails. Okay? I love snails. I really do. They are so bloody cute and they're so cool. I love them. They're awesome. So I just, I believe I pulled up references for like half of these and the other half I did uh, from The Imagination. And uh, I just I just drew snails. So I started off with this little one in the corner. He's sort of just like, you know, going to the side. I gave him some little like, you know, uh, snail eye stock dudes and look at him. They're so cute. Look! Look at it! <laughs> Oh my god, I love them. And of course, you know, I just quickly... I did like a base sketch, and then I just went in and like... Went over that. And just, you know, just to make it a little bit cleaner. And I... He, this one this one was so cute. He was eating like a little piece of grass or something, I think. And so his little mouth was open, and there's like a little piece of grass in his mouth. And it was absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. I love watching snails eat. I, I have a pet snail anymore, and I love him. I love him so much. Watching him eat is adorable and just like go around all the sides of his little uh, terrarium is cute. <laughs> it's adorable. I love it. But anyways, I just, you know, finished up the little shell with like this little swoopy shape that goes around him, trying to make it look like, you know, it's like on him, but like also behind him all at the same time, because it's all circly like that, you know? Time that idea. I also gave him some little snail blushies because so I thought that would be adorable, and I was right. It is adorable, <laughs> and I like that. I also just quickly add in like some shading and stuff all over him. Add in some little, you know, shading and snaily texture and kind of where I see in the reference. Kind of practice that. I add it to the shell as well. Actually, no, I think this is its pattern. Is this the pattern I'm adding in? This is the pattern. I'm adding in a shell pattern. I'm being a dork, is what I'm telling you right now. But anyways, I added in his little shell pattern. I added colored dark and like... Now, the actual snails, they don't have like little dark spots for their eyes. But like... I just... I added those in just to make it a little bit more like... Cutesy, I guess. And I think that worked. I had little shinies and it was just adorable. <laughs> oh my god. So anyways, I started off the next snail, kind of like how I do with all my drawings. And I just add a little circle for the head, and then I kind of just like, you know, sketch out a base for the, for the, like, body. And I add the shell on top. And, you know, I do all the swirlies. Yeah, I do all the little shell swirlies in the pattern. And it's the birds are very happy this morning. I'm sure y'all can't tell that at all. It's like a nature documentary when I record. <laughs> Sometimes you can hear like four different types of birds and then you just have me narrating. <laughs> oh my god. But anyways, I just quickly, you know. I lost my entire train of thought. I was focusing on the birds. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, I slightly erase him and then I just go through and detail him out again. I do this little side profile snaily. And he's a cutie, and this one had the, this one has like a very similar shape, uh, shell as to the last one. I believe I drew mainly garden snails. I wish I had, uh, figured out what type of snails I was drawing. But I believe I mainly drew garden snails. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> yes, yes, y'all are very, very soothing. Aren't they? They're soothing. That's what we're going to go with. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, I also added in, there's, like, a lot of texture on this one's, like, um, body. Slimy bit. Especially on, like, the lower, like, edge of the front area. So, I added, like, a little bit of texture there. <laughs> and just also added in some more texture to the shell and some shading. Just to, you know, bring it all together now. And then also some more s little, like... Uh, body textures and everything. Just to bring it all together. <laughs> look at that. Look, this one was super textural around the body. Look at that. Look at how he's drawing this. He was set so many patterns on his body. And that was so cool to see. I would love... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what are y'all so happy about? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
But anyways, <laughs> I would love to do a video where I just draw like different species of snail. To, since since I've recorded this, this one's super cute. Oh my god, look how stretched out he is. He's a little stretched out snail boy. I love him. <laughs> but anyways, I would love to do uh, a video where I draw like specific snail species. Since there's so many cool snail species. And like I've looked a lot more into them since I've gotten a pet snail. So, like, I have a milk snail, and that's what I believe a lot of these I drew were, were milk snails. <laughs> but I would like to draw, like, a bunch of other, um, different types of snails. Just, like, there's this one really cool, really pretty snail. He was cannibalistic, so I'm not ever going to own him because I can't do that. But he had the bright neon green shell. He was so cool looking. So, like, and there's the chocolate swirl snails. Those are with the little swirlies all around their shell and, like, the deep brown. And they are so cute. And of course they're like apple snails and I believe I actually draw a giant African land snail. Oh my god, the amount I wish I could own a giant African land snail. Do you know how cool of a snail a giant African land snail is? They get big, they look bigger than the size of my hands. Like, they are so cool. <laughs> but they're illegal in the United States and it's so upsetting for me. It's so sad. But I love them. And, like, they're so, like, you can watch, like, these, like, Canadian YouTubers who, like, have them. And they're so cute. And they have, like, big old giant bioactive big long terrariums for them. Oh, my God. It's so cool. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, I just continue doing my normal snaily thing with these guys. And blushies, texture. I talked about giant African land snails. Oh, my God. Here's one. I think this is a giant African land snail, buddy. This looks like one. So yeah, I would like to do a video where I just kind of like draw different species of snails. Like, so I think that would be cool. I also think I could do aquatic snails. And with that, so these are all land snails I drew. I believe, anyways. But I think I could definitely do a video where I just draw like snails in general. Land snails, some aquatic snails, and like maybe even some slugs. I saw this really cool slug uh, on YouTube where it was this little pancake slug. So he's like this little flat chunky slug and he was adorable and i loved him so much i can't own him <laughs> once again it makes me sad but he was so cute i love him oh my god <laughs> can you tell i like snails a lot i don't think that's obvious yet <laughs> but anyways i draw my little giant african land snail this is definitely a giant african land snail considering <laughs> It's shell shape is very much so of, like, when you look them up, they definitely have that very, like, I don't know what shape you would call, like, their shell, but they definitely have that sort of shape as I'm drawing this one. Of course, I had the blushies and his little darker eyes. And it's very cute. Oh, my gosh. And then I go for, I love this one. I love this one. He's so squishy and cute. Oh, my gosh. So, I, I essentially just draw, like, an above view of, like, a little baby snail. And he has, like, you know, his little eye stalks. Going up like this. And look, look, he just he's just so squished. Look, he's so cute. <laughs> His little shell shape's kind of interesting. Like from what it looks like to me, he kinda he doesn't have a same one as the other guys. So he might be a different species of snail I was drawing. I don't really remember <laughs> anymore. I don't even know if I have all the references I used saved if I went to Google or if there was like or if I saved them on Pinterest. Or what? So I don't really remember. <laughs> okay, so if I remember correctly, I think I did this one from my head here. I did the, definitely the one above it from a reference. But I did this one from the imagination, I believe. Kind of like using what I learned already. And just like, uh, you know, adding that into drawing my own little snail buddy. And it kind of, it was very cute. He looks like, he kind of looks like, like, you know, he's like the squishy one, but it was just the other shell shape I was doing. I believe this one's from my, uh, head, too. Where I just, like, drew, like, this little, like, squishy, down, like, snail, like, you know, looking down or, like, you know, spreading it out or something like that. <laughs> was kind of the idea, if I remember correctly, and I did this for my head. I think I did. I truly think I did this. So I was trying to fill in the space. And I believe my thought process during this was, well, I'm going to fill in this space, so I'm just going to draw 
sort of whatever, you know, in my brain going around in there, kind of use what I learned. Kind of like um, what Drawing with Waffles does. Sometimes when she does this, her studies or whatever in her sketchbook, she would like do a couple from referencing and do like one from her head or something afterwards or in between the drawings or something along those lines. So I kind of did like that when I was showing the snails. So I kind of just like, I filled up the page and then once I was done filling up the page, then I just like, you know, filled them with my imagination ones. Now this one is, I believe, another one from my head. No, wait, no, this one's not. It's, this one's half and half. I lied. This is half and half because I used a reference for the base snail, but then I added butterfly wings <laughs> onto them so I thought that would be cute. So then, so if I remember correctly, I used one to see how, like, uh, I think I used one for, to see he had something in his mouth, and I was looking at a reference of that. I believe he's holding, like, a dandelion in his mouth or something along those lines. And I think that's very cute, so I quickly, I get a very fast and quick, sort of sketchy. Now I just sort of detailing him in. Oh my gosh, and this isn't actually, he's really fairly cute, but he's not my best snail. But he is very cute. I still like him. Also, I think some of my best snails are were like my smaller ones. <laughs> I think my two big ones, they were pretty cute and adorable. But I think my smaller ones, they just... They just had a different level of cuteness. And I don't know what that was. <laughs> you know? So I just quickly just finished stitching his little shell and everything. It's all very wobbly and swirly and cutesies. Then I just add in his like little... I guess, uh... Stem? You see, I think that's a dandelion. I think that's what that is. I think that's my simplified dandelion there. <laughs> I just added in his little butterfly wings. Very cute. Tried to make him look, you know, somewhat like butterfly wings. So I just sort of like, you know, added like a pattern. I think it's kind of like a monarch sort of pattern is what I was going for. I don't, I think I looked up a reference of one and this is kind of what I saw when I was looking at it. So I kind of just did that a little bit on both the wings just to give it, you know, the right vibe. I colored in the full back one just to silhouette it a little bit and push it back. I think I should have added in a bit of the pattern to that back one there, but you know, it's fine. But anyways, I just move along and quickly do the thing where I decided I would just sketch out my next couple snails this time around, and then I would, um, uh, go through and just, like, uh, detail them all in one after another. Kind of like how I did in my Valentine's Day video, I sketched out all of my characters, and then, in a very quick, sketchy format, and filled up my page, and then I detailed all of them out. So, anyways, I believe all, most of these, the rest of these, were from my head. So I kind of get one where he was very like squished out and stretched and doing his thing. Kind of like the one on the left side of the page that I did initially. And where he was like all stretchy and doing his little thing. And he turned out very cute. And I did this little one where he was like just looking like forward essentially. Or at least you know. Almost essentially. So I think there's like you see a little bit of his. How did I do this? Did I put a little body back there? I think I put a little bit of his body. So it's like he's looking forward, but then it's like his back sort of turning in a way. Is how I had it. <laughs> Which is a little, a little hard to describe, but I had him like forward and turning. And that's kind of what I did. Oh, yeah. See, like, just kind of how I was thinking. And then I had this little guy. He was absolutely adorable. So I like tilted his one little eye stock down the other way so he wouldn't like, you know overlap with the super stretchy one and I had him looking straight forward essentially and he had these super like little fluttered out um like I don't know what you called them like part of his body like the edges of his body was super like fluttered out and I don't know what it is about this little guy but he is the best snail ever and I love him and I just I love him look at him He's so precious and adorable. So I pulled out my favorite Castell Pit Artist pens. These are in the color, I think, sepia. And I just start line arting this little one right here. Because I love them so much. I was like, I need to color him. He needs to be in color. He deserves it. 
He deserves every last little bit of this. I had a little heart for him. I pulled out my Prismacolor Premier. This is the botanical set and my pencil sharpener. I erased my little snail, and I couldn't decide what colors to do. So I made two little tiny versions of my snaily up there. And I started one off with green skin and a pink shell, and the other one with pink skin and a green shell. And I decided on pink skin with the green shell, so I thought that was absolutely adorable. <laughs> they were both so cute, it was a hard decision, but this is kind of what I landed on. So I started off with a super pastel pink color. Did base that, then I added in a slightly darker color, just like all around all spots, like where he would like kind of have like blushies and slight different tonal differences like that on his body and then I used a super dark color for like the shading on the body and I think that turned out really well <laughs> like I think she turned out so cute look at it and then I started kind of a similar way I used the green as like a base on the back of the, the back shell <laughs> you know the base of the, the back I keep going to say background but I mean the shell, just the shell. Then I take the slightly darker color and I add in all the different lines and texture with it. Then I take the super dark color and just shade it all in to add that depth that it kind of needs. And then I just like blend that the crud out. And then with that, I just add in a little pink to the heart and he's all done. Well, in fact, I add in a ton of little tiny sh shiny bits just to finish him off and make him look, you know, slimy and beautiful and healthy and nerdy. And I ran around and added hearts to every single snail because I loved them so much. <laughs> and I was so happy with how they turned out. So everybody got hearts. I liked how the little two who like color swatched ones turned out a lot. But that is all the time for have today. As always, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!